Hello, fight fans. In today's news, Mirab Devalishvili shared footage of the car incident he was involved in. Edson Barboza eyes a BMF fight with Max Holloway. Michael Bisping weighs in on Colby Covington, calling out Charles Oliveira. Sean Strickland goes off on Paulo Costa for not signing the contract. Mirab Devalashvili recently shared a concerning traffic incident he was involved in. Thankfully, he wasn't hurt and could walk away without any injuries. Here's the video. I'm good. I'm good. You're fun. I try here. You're fun to see. You're right here. Oh, it's crazy. Shit. Fuck. Hey, sit down, man. Yeah. Two? Okay. Sit right there. Sit by your car. Who's in this car? Um, should be inside. Who's in this still? I'm in New York for one day, a couple hours, and I got in a huge accident. I was in Uber, and our car got hit by some other cars. Look at the damage. I was sitting here. I got hit, thank God. I'm okay. But now my bags are inside. Edson Barboza believes he should be the one to face Max Holloway for the BMF title. He's made it clear that he's deserving of the title and ready to step up for it. Do you have to fight for the BMF title? Because I feel like if there's one BMF fighter in the in the UFC, it's gotta be you. You, you fighting everybody. You said, bro. <laughs> have one guy to deserve to fight BMF title? It's me. Because who's have a better highlight than knockout in UFC than me? Imagine him a fight me, bro. I love Max Holloway. He, he's one of my favorite fight ever. I love to watch him. Very nice guy, very family guy. And imagine a fight me against him with the BMF belt. Crazy. You know? Crazy. It's going to be very, very good for me, for him, for the company. And like I said, man, I have a 30 fights. That my next one's going to be my third fight in UFC. I think I deserve that, man. Well, of course, my focus 100% on the next one. But. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Michael Bisping and Anthony Smith recently shared their thoughts on Colby Covington, calling out Charles Oliveira. Despite recognizing that the fight wouldn't affect their rankings, since they're in different divisions, they both believe it could be an exciting matchup. Colby's now asking for Charles Oliveira. Ooh, at 70. At 170. I have the video of the post fight. Oh, that's old from Brian. Yeah, I, I don't kind of like. I, I kind of like that though. You Especially with this timing, they're both coming off of losses. Charles, it's going to take him a few to even get back to a contender fight. Like, <clears throat> because no matter who wins this fight, Armand Sarukian is probably next. And then, depending on what Max Holloway wants to do, like he can kind of bounce around back and forth and figure that out. Like. It's going to take Charles a couple fights to get himself back in a position to win. That's a big money fight. It's a big draw. Charles has always historically struggled at making weight, so he probably wouldn't mind going up to 170. Yeah. Colby's not a like big power puncher. So, you know, I think Charles is the better striker anyways, but like grappling wise, that could be fun. I think that'd be a big fight that would be fun. That's actually, now you've sold me on it. Because at first I was kind of scratching my head from a, a Colby Covington perspective. I'm like, the guy's not even in the division. But it does nothing in terms of respective rankings. But it is a big win for mm -hmm. both men. Sean Strickland sent a message to Paulo Costa regarding Paulo not signing the contract. They were announced to fight on June 1st, but there are rumors that Paulo still hasn't signed. Well, goddamn, Costa. I've heard you. You get to sign that contract. And I'll tell you what, man, I didn't fucking believe it. 
I did not think you'd react like a coward. I thought you would man up, sack up, but instead you're acting like you got fucking ovaries. So I went on the Googler, I did the right thing, give you the benefit of the doubt. I went on the Googler and I noticed something, man. After you fought Izzy, you went downhill. You went off that fucking deep in my man. I don't know what happened in that little fucking pea brain you have. Oh, do we need to get someone for you to talk to, my man? Do we need to sit you down, have you talk about your fucking feelings? I think therapy's the weak man. But let me tell you something, dude. You're being a weak fucking man. If you can't sack up and make this shit happen, we'll get someone for you to talk to. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint the fans. Let me make you fucking believe. And that wraps up today's news. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe bell to stay in the loop. Keep supporting the sport, and we will see you in the next one.